Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996 and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. HUD regularly offers incentives to buyers like the $100 down payment program and 50% off for certain buyers. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Humble, Texas. We are in the Laurel Place subdivision. And we're standing in front of 17811 Sunstone Terrace. <clears throat> That's 17811 Sunstone Terrace. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. It is approximately 3,153 square feet and it was built in 2012. The home sits on about a 6,100 square foot lot. And it's about $15,000 underneath the county appraisal. Exterior of this home is a combination of brick and hardy plank, and exterior-wise, it's in decent shape. Maybe a little bit of power washing, maybe a little bit of touch-up paint, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty good condition. It's not a very old home, relatively new neighborhood. Humble is located on the northeast side of town, going up 59, or now commonly known as 69, up by the lake. And HUD is offering a $100 down payment incentive on this home, which is a pretty nice incentive if you're an owner-occupant buyer, and you're going to live in it, and you get an FHA loan. Now I do notice there's a little bit of settling on the brick, but it doesn't look like it's very bad. So let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Where we step into the backyard off of a door in the living room, and it's a pretty standard size backyard. Typically regular residential yard, yards are between five and 7,000 square feet, at least here in the Houston and San Antonio area. And exterior wise in good shape, maybe a tiny bit of the siding is damaged or a little corner there, a little nip out of it, but that's not very much. Exterior wise in good shape. Let's look at the inside. Well, before we walk in, I do like this little front porch here. When we step in, it has a laminate wood floor and it's a little dark. The paint job is a little dark, so I'm gonna leave the doors open. To the left here, you have a little formal dining area, just needs painting. If we turn to the right, you do have your garage. Now it's gonna be a little dark in there, probably, so your standard two-car garage, it is a little dark, but basic garage. Right across from the garage is where we have a little coat closet, so that's pretty nice. And then we make our way into your combined kitchen and dining area. Now it does have what looks like a silestone countertop and a pretty decent sized kitchen that is open up into your living room. Right across from the kitchen, we have your walk-in pantry. It's actually a good size walk-in pantry. And then we have your family room here with a nice big fireplace. Now there's a little bit of sheetrock damage, which you'll probably want to repair. But it's a decent sized family room. It does have laminate wood floors, probably need to be replaced. You could put some bar stools right up there, which I think is nice. And then right around the corner here, before we go upstairs, is where we'll have your little half bath, which is a single vanity. And it's a little dark in there. And then behind the doors where we'll have your your commode, I mean, your, your vanity is right behind the door and your commode is right there. Now, a nice perk is downstairs is where we have your master bedroom. So it's always nice to have the master down. I think there's a little bit larger uh, market of buyers looking for master on the first floor. It's a good sized bedroom. It does have ceramic tile. And then we come over to your master bath, which does have a separate shower and garden tub. And then we have dual vanities, which is a nice perk too. We have your commode on this side and then at the end of the bathroom is where we have your walk-in closet. So it's probably gonna be a little bit dark, but a decent sized master walk-in. You have your dual vanities, ceramic tile on the floor. This room really just needs a little bit of touch-up paint. Other bedrooms will be upstairs. Let's take a look at those. So we make our way up the staircase. The carpeting is probably going to need to be replaced. It is a little dingy. Now when we get upstairs, have a couple of options. Let's turn to the right and we'll come around this staircase. Now you can see that staircase, how it kind of parts this large upstairs second family room. So this is a really good size room. Probably needs painting and flooring, that's about it. On this end over here, we have this very dark room, which is like a, a media room. It looks like they had a projector screen on the wall over there. It's, it's so dark, guys, I, I'm sorry. I, can't really show you, but yeah, that's like a, a media room there. On this side of the staircase, we have an additional room, which could be an office or a study with its own closet. And then here we have, I guess what could be considered bedroom number two, 
which needs a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Then we have this little entrance here. And if we turn to the left, we have this bedroom, which would be bedroom number three. Needs fresh coat of paint and flooring. And then down at the hallway here is where we'll have at the front of the home, bedroom number four, which needs a little bit of sheetrock work, a little bit of painting, and a little bit of flooring. I like how you have a window in the closet. It gives you a little more light in there. And I opened this door because I want to try to give you an idea of how bright it is or, or the size of this uh, little bathroom here. So this is full bath number two with dual vanities, shower and tub combo. And then you have your laundry room right upstairs. Washer and dryer connections are there. I apologize for the darkness in the home, guys. It is a little overcast here in Humble and in Houston. So... That's about a beautiful home, big home, over 3,100 square feet. You can do the $100 down payment option on this home, meaning if you're an owner-occupant buyer and you're buying it with an FHA loan, you can do $100 down. This home, again, is also about $15,000 underneath the county appraisal. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 17811 Sunstone Terrace. That's 17811 Sunstone Terrace, a very big four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. It's over 3,100 square feet. You can do a $100 down payment on this home. It's about $15,000 underneath the county appraisal, and it's listed right now for only $195,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.